in this video I have explained how to find the root of an given equation by using an successive bisection method. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, gain the knowledge and rule the world. Find the real root of an equation x cube minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Correct to 2, 2 decimal places in the interval 1 comma 1.5 using successive bisection method. So in this case they have given the equation and they have given the interval. In few of the questions they will be not giving the interval. You need to find out yourself the intervals. Now in this particular question they have given the internal consider that interval itself. So the solution for this particular problem is let f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1. So whatever the equation has been given write that particular equation and consider that as an f of x and they have given the interval 1 comma 1.5 and we know that the successive bisection method formula to find the root of an given equation and it is an iterative process that means we will be repeating the step repetitively until we get the approximate root and the formula is x is equal to a plus b divided by 2 x is equal to a plus b divided by 2 in successive bisection method the formula to find the root of an given equation is x is equal to a plus b by 2. Given equation is f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. And they are given the interval as 1 comma 1.5. So first find f of 1. f of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 1. Minus 1 is equal to so upon evaluation of this expression you will get the answer as minus 1 similarly find f of 1.5 so f of 1.5 is equal to 1.5 cube minus 1.5 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.875 so according to the fundamental property to find the root of a given equation the root always lies between a negative as well as a positive values of the intervals whatever has been given as I told the fundamental property to find a root if fx is a given equation such that if exist two values a comma b such that f of a and f of b will be having an opposite signs then a positive root or a negative root will be lying between a and b so see here f of 1 is minus 1 and f of 1.5 is 0 0.875 therefore the root lies between 1 and 1 1.5 draw a line 1 for this one it is a negative value and for 1.5 we have a positive value now the root lies between 1 and 1 1.5 according to the fundamental property of a root now by using an formula we need to find so this is the first step for that purpose I will write first approximate root is x1 is equal to a plus b divided by 2 a is 1 b is 1.5 so 1 plus 1.5 divided by 2 so this will give the value as 1.25 this is the first approximate root now find f of x1 that is f of 1.25 and this will give the value as 0 0.2969 while solving the problem after the decimal point consider four significant digit after that whatever the fifth digit you are going to get round it off by using and rounding of and rules which I have told in the earlier classes which you can see in the previous video so now whatever the new root you have got is 1.25 and for this one you have got a negative value that means now the root lies between 1.25 and 1.5. The root lies between 1.25 and 
0.25 draw a line at the one end it is 1.25 it is a negative value and at the other end 1.5 it is a positive value so therefore the root always lies between a negative and a positive is the fundamental property now this is the second step for that purpose second approximate root is as i told the formula in bisection method x is equal to a plus b by 2 so we can write x2 is equal to 1.25 plus 1.5 divided by 2 and this will give the value as 1.375 now we need to find f of 1.375 f of 1.375 on substituting in a given equation we get the value as 0 0.2246 which is a positive so that is the root we have found is 1.375 and it is a positive for that purpose now the root lies between a negative and a positive that is the root lies between 1.25 and 1.375 the root lies between 1.25 and 1.375 draw a line and the one end that is as 1.25 and it is a negative that is f of 1.25 and at the end 1.375 f of 1.375 is an positive now it is a third step for that purpose third approximate root is the same formula x is equal to a plus b by 2 this x3 is equal to 1.25 plus 1.375 divided by 2 and it will give the value 1.3125 now find f of 1.3125 it is equal to minus 0.0515 it means we have got a new root that is 1.3125 and this f of value is a negative that means now the root lies between 1.3125 and 1.375 now we shall move on to a fourth step of finding a root of a given equation the root lies between as I told 1.3125 and 1.375 draw a line and the one end it is 1.3125 for this one you have got a negative and for another end 1.375 for that you have got a positive that is f of 1.375 we have got a positive value so now this is the fourth step for that purpose the fourth approximate root is same formula x is equal to a plus b by 2 that is x4 is equal to 1.3125 plus 1.375 divided by 2 and it will give the value 1.3438 now this f of value that is f of 1.3438 will give the value as 0 0.0828 that is an positive that is you have got a new root between 1.3125 and 1.375 and that new root is 1.3438 for this when you have substituted in a given equation we get a positive value therefore now the root lies between 1.3125 and 1.3438 now we shall find the fifth root the root lies between 1.3125 and 1.3438 so draw a line at the one on, at the one end it is 1.3125 it is a negative and at the other end 1.3438 and its f of value is a positive now therefore the root lies between 1.3125 and 1.3438 this is an fifth step for that purpose the fifth approximate root is x 5 is equal to 1.3125 plus 1.3438 divided by 2 and it will give the value 1.3282 now find f of 1.3282 it will give the value as 0 0.0149 that means f of 1.3282 is a positive the new root which you have got between 1.3125 and 1.3438 is 1.3282 and for that f of value whatever you have got is a positive therefore now the root lies between 1.3125 and 1.3282 so this you need to do repetitively until you get whatever the roots 
we get in between those should have the same values that means the significant digits whatever is there that should be an same now we are nearly to uh, after the decimal point 1.3 and here it's also 1.3 that means one digit after the decimal point up to one decimal places now it is correct but we need to find up to two decimal places for that purpose we need to repeat the step the root lies between 1.3125 and 1.3282 so draw a line 1.3125 for that you have a negative 1.3282 for that you have a positive that is an f of value now we need to find a new root between 1.3125 and 1.3282 since this is an sixth step i will write sixth approximate root is the same formula x is equal to a plus b by 2 that is x6 is equal to 1.3125 plus 1.3282 divided by 2 and it will give the value 1.3204 now find f of 1.3204 and it will give the value as minus 0 0.0184 that is a negative that is you have found a new root between 1.3125 and 1.3282 that new root is 1.3204 and for that you have got a negative value that means now the root lies between 1.3204 and 1.3282 so now you can observe that up to two decimal places it is correct root lies between 1.3204 and 1.3282 draw a line at the left 1.3204 for that f of that is f of 1.3204 is negative and another one is at the other end 1.3282 for that f of value that is f of 1.3282 is positive therefore the root lies between these two 1.3204 and 1.3282 we need to find an approximate root for the given equation that is x cube minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 up to two decimal places now you can observe here 1.32 and 1.32 that means after the decimal point two significant digits are same that means at this particular point you can stop iterating the step that is no need of again doing the calculation you can write therefore the required root is 1.32 the required root is 1.32 which is correct to two decimal places for a given equation x cube minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 within the interval 1 comma 1.5 like the video subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends gain the knowledge and rule the world